All right, clown problem, conservation of momentum. We're going to do this uh, in two parts. First, I'm going to look at the medicine ball, which I will call M, and clown B. So what's going to end up happening is uh, we'll use conservation of momentum because no force and no time is mentioned. So we have MB, VB initial, plus M of the medicine ball, V the medicine ball initial. And then they both acquire final speeds. Which is just peachy keen. So now let's plug in numbers. Everything starts off at rest to begin with. So I'm going to have 50 starting at 0 kilograms, or 0 meters per second, and 5 kilograms starting at 0 meters per second. And then what ends up happening is that clown B acquires its final speed that we're going to find in a second. And the medicine ball ends up going to the left at 30 meters per second, so I'm going to make that negative. What this then means is that the final speed of clown B ends up being positive 3 meters per second. Now what happens after clown A catches the ball? So now we need to look at what happens. Now this is moving at 30, the medicine ball that is, in the backwards direction. And A is still to start with, and then they catch and move together. So M-A-V-A -A initial plus M of the medicine ball, V the medicine ball initial equals their final momenta combined. That's just a short way of saying it. So starting off, uh, the clown is at rest. The medicine ball is going at negative 30. And then what ends up happening is that they hit and stick traveling at the same speed. So I'm going to end up actually getting negative 150 equals 75 V. So my V is going to be left, is going to be calculated to be 2 meters per second. So that's it for that particular problem number.